Hey, Jay. Sit on the gig, I'll give me a minute. Come on, I'm ready. Good evening and welcome to the evening news. We're going to begin with breaking news. We have learned that rapper who goes by the name OMB Bloodbath is accused of orchestrating several attacks as a gang leader. Alexandra Nix learned that she was indicted on charges of engaging in organized activity while she was in court for an outstanding warrant. She allegedly directed a 2017 murder as part of a gang war. To be honest, I don't even know why. Like I don't, I don't be in them folks' way or nothing. Like that. the police just hate me out here. I did a couple of shows at some schools and got on the news. Like they put me on the news to my local gang member. I do a lot of good for the city. You feel me? I, I'm on my fifth, my fifth food festival in Houston. You feel me? I'm on my third Christmas giveaway. We be having a hundred day in the trade. You know they call it third worth the trade. I do a lot of giving back and like I don't do it for no. Kudos and no hoorays and shit like that. I do it out the kindness of my heart. That's why it pissed me off even more that my heart really like that and people try to paint me as something else, you feel me? Like, it is what it is. Exclusive, y'all. It's boring. I'm on house series. I just watch YouTube and record out of it. My little sister name, Third Ward. Muddy, because I like drink. RP Craig, RP Diggs, RP Ello, RP Trisha. Third Ward, that's where I'm from. That's how you. Throw it back then, everybody stood up like that. Now you're out there like this, back then, everybody stood up like this. We all grew up together, we riding our bikes back and forth through this beach. Like anybody that really know me since I was a kid, they know my nickname, Lil Alex or Alamo, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, but blood bad, I got that from my best friend, Didrick, and it just stuck with me. This is where everybody called me. Like it's crib niggas that be, what's up, blood? We saw the interview, or the piece that was from the New York Post about George Floyd. Can you talk about that connection at all? He the type of nigga, every three, four in the morning, you might come across a timeline, he'll send a whole paragraph of prayer in your DM telling you keep going like when you be needing it the most, you know what I'm saying? So like, with that Floyd situation, like, even when my don't do a video, it might be people that don't know me personally that see that video and be like, why the fuck George Floyd out in the video? Like, why is it mirrors of him? Like, that wasn't no, we finna shoot a video, put a mural up. We really from the same corner. Like, this Blue Stow baby, Blue Stow baby, George Floyd from the Blue Stow, like, from the CUNY home project. Like, we, like, that's my real big homie, you feel me? So, just for anybody that didn't know, you know what I'm saying? That's my uncle, that's uncle. It be them certain ones that just will never make sense. That that be the ones that hurt the most, you feel me? Like, cause you got niggas that die that's really thugging and really out here wild doing crazy shit. And it's like when they die, it hurt cause they your people and it's fucked up. But then you got some people that just too pure for earth. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Floyd, one of them niggas, he was too pure for earth. You feel me? Like, like Zay the Brick Boy, Obi Noah, like he just, he another one, he from the same county as, as Floyd. Like, as my brother though, niggas just too pure for earth. We read the story in XXL about how you were shot. Mm -hmm. Are you able to talk about that at all? Shit, I just got shot this week. This week. 
I want my music to have longevity and, and still spread after I'm gone and shit like that. Of course, a motherfucker could listen to your song all day, but if you ain't make no big impact, that shit really don't mean nothing, you know what I'm saying? So, I just want to touch as many people as I can in a positive way. And Martin Luther King, everybody appreciate him and still talk about him to this day because of what he did. I want to have that same type of shit. Not saying exactly like him, but just I want to have an impact on people. I might go to the gallo and I might run into 10 or 20 fans, you know what I'm saying? They all want to take pictures. But it ain't nothing like when you, when I walk across here to the street to this store and see them little kids that really know me or them people that, them, them dope fans that watched me grow up from when I was serving them people that really watched you come from that shit though and just getting that feel of the sin, like them seeing you succeed and them be proud of you, you know, that shit genuine. That shit in my skin, that shit forever gonna be with me, like my hood always gonna be behind me.